Hello, 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 hello. So today's episode of Rising Vibes, um, our guest is Stretch Customs. Um, Stretch is a car, um, a car customizer uh, located in the Atlanta area. Stretch has done some of the baddest cars that y'all know in in the car world. So it was only right that we go ahead and get him on and uh, have him grace us with his presence. Now, um, while we wait for him to come on, if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, make sure you go ahead and click the link in the bio to subscribe. Um, you can catch up on any past episodes and if you miss any of tonight's episode, you can also, um, you can also catch, catch the full replay of the episode. Also, if you're looking to sponsor any episodes of Rising Vibes, make sure you reach out to me. You can, you will get shouted out on the YouTube channel. You will get shouted out on the particular episode that we are on. And so a lot of people have really been able to benefit from becoming a sponsor of Rising Vibes. Um, yeah, and so... For me, if you want to if you want to sponsor one episode, it's cool. If you want to sponsor two episodes, it's cool. If you want to sponsor a hundred episodes, the more episodes that you sponsor, the more that we are going to work. So let me go ahead. It looks like Stretch has joined, so I'll go ahead and get him on, and we will chit. -chat. Go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. You could do that by clicking the link in my bio. Let me see, he should be coming on in just a second. Yeah, he should be coming on in just a second. I think he should be getting here. I don't know what be going on with my own, with my thingy, but hey, we're going to make it do what it do. So I'm I'm waiting for him to come on. I'm, I'm feeling like something else I wanted to say. Um, I know everybody's getting ready for the classic, and why everybody getting ready for the classic? Y'all are really out here, uh, extra stressing and stretching these car, these car um shops and getting your rims and all that stuff together. But y'all waiting to the last minute to get this to get these people um stretch out. I don't know what's going on. Um, it keeps saying you're unable to join. Uh, um, so I'm going to try to get you on, but I'm not sure what's going on. Hey, sir. What's going on? What's going on? How are you? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Even though we can't see you, it's all right. As long as we can hear you, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My volume kind of, my volume kind of acting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some where I can, I'm gonna get some where I can actually turn on the light. At. I'm walking. Oh, yeah, it's okay. right now, so. Well, first of all, um, I wanted to tell you thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to sit down and talk to us and let us be nosy for a little while and answer the fans' questions. Okay, no problem, no problem. All right. So what I'll do is I'll start off with one of my questions. And then I'll get right into the fans' questions, okay? Okay, no problem. All right, so my first question is, how did you get started being into cars? All right. How I got started getting into cars, well, I had started doing music, mm -hmm. like early 90s, like, 90, like 93, 94. And stuff. So I always been into cars. Then, then plus I you was, was into, like, what you was a rapper? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. I did stereos and alarm system. Oh, okay. Well, I'm saying you said being into music, like yeah, yeah. That's a that's stereo. a loaded that's a loaded sentence there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I did music. Uh, I did a lot of stereo. Back in the day, we put VCRs in cars and stuff like that, so I was I was a part of that era right now. Right, right. So, so, so you started being into music. Yeah, I started music, and uh, then uh, 
funny thing is, I was just doing car audio, but then I actually was like going to school to be a music teacher. And oh, uh, wow. and uh, shoot, one thing led to another. Things didn't go to how I wanted to plan. After spending some years in school, I went on ahead and uh, went to tech and uh, took an auto body. Okay. So I've been painting ever since. And what, uh, you know, not not to be asking, you know, I feel like I just want to know what year that was. <laughs> Man, that was like 2000. 2000? Yeah, 2000, 2001. I went in, I went in the auto body. So, so you've been shit. doing it since 2000? Yeah, I've been doing it since 2000. Okay, okay. So, what are some of the some of the some of the great things that you have found about working doing auto body and doing because you you do auto body and you paint right? Yeah, uh, I do collision. I do collision and I do custom work. Okay. So, what are some of the great things that you have found about being in the business, and then some of the not so great things about being in the business? Well, well to me, uh, to me, really. Working on cars like a peace of mind, like my sanctuary, man. I, you know, when things are on my mind, I, you know, I tend to like to work. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I find it, you know, soothing, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, you beat old metal, you know what I'm saying? You have problems, you can you beat that metal up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, you get to the beat old stuff. But, yeah, the uh, downfalls is really it all depends it all depends how you see you know sometimes customers can be your downfall you know what i'm saying you run into a couple of customers you know problems here and there but you know it's on how you it's on how you handle the situation at times you know what i'm saying you know so it's you know people do want their cars sometimes you, you fuss but you know most of the time i ain't gonna argue with nobody you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna blood pressure right. get up that high you know what I'm saying? Bust, bust some blood vessels and stuff like that. Just, you know, so I just, I'm real laid back and cool. So, you know what I'm saying? I try to brush all that stuff up. Folks say that and they don't care about shit. So, you know, you know, I just kind of brush it off. You know, all that shit really worried me like that. So you're easy going to the point where people feel like you just don't care. Yeah, I get easy going. You know what I'm saying? I do be can, you know what I'm saying? Because I tell everybody, you know what I'm saying? When I'm at work, you know what I'm saying, I'm working, you know what I'm saying. Right. When I'm ready to paint, I'm ready to paint, you know what I'm saying. It's a it's a passion to me to paint, you know what I'm saying. So I got to be in the mood, you know what I'm saying. I just can't get in and just say, boom, just going to paint today. I got to be, like, in the mood. When I'm in the mood, and I can rate a lot of stuff because then I'm playing with a lot of colors and everything. So, you know, I get in the mood, then stuff come to mind, you know, so when I start seeing stuff, so I'm in my element. So, you know, I vibe out when I'm painting. Do customers ever come to you and be like, I don't know what color I want? You can you just go ahead and just surprise me with the color? Yeah, I done had I had a few customers do me like that. You know what I'm saying? They say, I said, What kind of what's your color fate? What's your favorite color? Well, I like this. And I said, okay. Or just just pick something for me, you know what I'm saying? I said, all right, just give me a round about what your favorite colors in, and then I then I just go in and, and figure something out, you know what I'm saying? Create something different, you know what I'm saying? Right. Who is there any is there a car that some that a customer told you to do it that way and and then it came out and you was like oh man I did that and the customer was like oh man you did that well yeah yeah it, it been a few it been a few jobs like that and sometimes I, I sprinkle a little flavor with a lot of stuff man so you know what I'm saying a lot of my cars you know saying so they gonna look the same but some gonna be a little bit different about the colors you know I just being the element everybody say man you know. Damn, you so paint a lot of brand new wine. You got a whole red fleet coming up out of you know. You paint them clothes than that. I said, yeah, but you know, my customers, that's what they like. Right. So I paint what they like, but then you know what I'm saying. Sometimes I get in the mood just to sprinkle a little, sprinkle a little there and there, and you know what I'm saying, come up with something really creative. So they be like, damn, people look at it, say, man, they call it one color this way, but darn it, tonight that's something gonna look a, a whole different color. Well, that's that's the that's kind of like the art of being an because whether people believe it or not, you car, people who who paint cars and customize cars, you guys are artists. You're like Prince. Definitely not like Prince, but we'll okay. <laughs> 
so I will get right into the fans questions okay. now. Somebody okay. asked, when are you going to trick out your own personal dunk? My own personal dunk? Mm -hmm. So I got to find one first. But I got, I got a, I got my own personal car that's been sitting in front of my shop for the longest. I be too busy to try to make some money to get work on my own stuff. Cause if I work on my own stuff, that means I'm spending money. I be trying right. to make it every now and then. But I am gonna pull my car in because I got a lot of stuff I'm doing to it, and it's it's long overdue. You know, so I mm -hmm. I pulled I came out one year, nice car, and everybody wanna hot damn man. You got a nice car, but now you don't. Make it look like shit now, so you know. I be like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna redo it. You know, it's my, my thing. I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? I got my own color come. I'm gonna do to it. I got my own little swag. I'm gonna put to it. I got my own design and stuff to it. So, you know, I just take my time and just say, man, I'm gonna concentrate on getting other stuff out the way first. But then I'm gonna work on me too. But you know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna put no, I ain't gonna put mine in front of nobody else. Right. And anyway, I get, to, I get to me. So, so what kind of car? Is your car? I got an 81 Z20 Camaro. Hmm. Okay. okay. So, if you have not already, what is your dream car to build for yourself? Well, yeah. I'm going to build me a 69 Camaro. Because mm -hmm. uh, I, I want a couple of gen Camaros that I'm trying to do. And I got I got a bucket. I got a 69 that's a bucket. You know, I ain't, I ain't going to get on that just yet, but it, I got designs for what I'm ready to do. But I'm going to get my first one out of the way first. Then I'm, right. But I want to do my vert, though. You know what I'm saying? I want, I want to do my don't vert, though. What? I do want to do that. Yeah, don't be stressful. Yeah, I'm going to do my don't. <laughs> the don't game is definitely stressful. And people don't even believe it. Like, when people, I, I think people don't understand. When people are saying that, they're not saying it just to be saying it. No, nah, they cause a lot of money going to car. I done right. seen people spend a lot of money and you know what I'm saying people want to go with you know, people want off frame. I got a few off frames I'm doing. Right. Uh and you know, it just when they get that part list going, they be like, dang. And they keep on going, you know what I'm saying? Right. So that game that any car game really can be stressful. It just all depends on how far you trying to really take that car. Right. You know, some people say, I, I ain't got no budget. The sky the limit. But then they ask them, they got a budget. They be lying. In pricing <laughs> and life and get your life in. And they be like, hold up, man. I ain't, I ain't want that that much. So, you know, I would ask you, what you want to do? I, I'm on your time frame. They be lying because I'm going to tell you what. Todd told me this a long time ago. He said, when people come to me and they tell me money ain't an issue, Oh, I automatically know money is a, a freaking issue. Yeah. <laughs> Who said anything about money? You said money wasn't an issue. Yeah, it's it's going to be a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I try, I try to get, I get, I get people like quarterly budgets because I don't never want, you know, what I'm saying because I can work on something and get some out, you know, what I'm saying, and then I be like, hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? So I try to work with people, you know, what I'm saying, say, hey, man, we're gonna start here. I call you when I get to the next phase, and if you really it's gonna go to the next phase, that way I can work on it, get it to a certain point, try to keep the deadlines going with it, and then we say boom, let's go on to the next phase. I done did this much, I, I need this right here, and I'm a person that's gonna tell you, hey man, buy all your parts. Let's go and get your part list. They gonna get all your parts, buy all your parts, cause when I get to going, I'm gonna go, and then right. you might, you know, we ain't gonna, you don't want to wait on a lot of stuff, so. He be like, hey man, as long as you got everything, I can keep going. That's my motto. I'm gonna give. So my you give you give your customer the part list. Yeah, I give them a part list. Okay. We'll sit down and build your car. I ask you what you trying to do. How far are you trying to go? You want to go this? You want to go this right? You want to go this right? Yeah, I want to do this. I said, okay, it's the price on this right here. Boom, 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 boom. So they know what they they getting into. You right. Give them a label price on. Hey, this is gonna cost this, 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 this. But we'll get this later on, but we try to keep it in the stages. Right. You know, so you won't be all over the place. What What gave you the idea to do a car show for autism? It was autism awareness, right? Yeah, yeah, autism awareness, you know what I'm saying? My son had autism. Okay. And uh, so I came with the idea. I came with the idea with paint wars, you know what I'm saying? Because, one, you know, it's a lot. Of, I, want, I was looking at a lot of shops in the city. 
and mm-hmm. I I want to present it to the people as you know, hey, you know all that top five stuff were going on, you know, what I'm saying people still hollering top five, whatever. But I was trying to present the shops of Atlanta to come together, you know, what I'm saying get your space, and then you know, it's a networking show. That's my whole thing with networking, trying to network with other shops so people can actually see what other people are doing. You right. know what I'm saying? That way, if you're if you're online, you're looking at these different shops. Hey, I'm invite you out to paint walls. Boom, boom, boom. You know, get your slot. We're gonna have we're gonna set it up where you're on display. You know what I'm saying? Your top five cars. You know, so I always say, bring what you bring. You know what I'm saying? Bring your good, your bad, and your ugly. You know, let people know I I do work this caliber work. I do this caliber work. I do this caliber work. And just show off your work because it's a price for everybody out there. You know what right. I'm saying? You know. People, my brother say people thought you were trying to poke fun at folk. You know, people that want to, you know, it, it kind of shocked people. But it's it's a networking show for me. And mm-hmm. then the the fact that you know, what I'm saying I did the design with the autism. I try to you know incorporate autism awareness with it also. You right. know, what I'm saying so that give people you know, what I'm saying uh, an awareness of what's going on. And then had people from uh, Easter Seals come out. You know, what I'm saying try to pass out flowers because those are the services I used while my son was growing up. So I was trying to bring awareness to autism. You know, what I'm saying. Plus, around that time, I did on my grandma's birthday also, which was that round in Mayfield. You know, what I'm saying. So I was trying to celebrate her, trying to celebrate autism awareness. And then I had a couple. I had a vendor that was an autistic kid who was selling coffee. So this year coming up, I'm gonna bring a little bit more of autism awareness and bring some more special need vendors out. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, yeah, so I'm trying to incorporate autism awareness so people can understand, you know, it's about autism awareness that, you know, it's people, kids, your your family, you know, saying they might act up, you never know, you get them tested, you might have autism, you know, they might have autism, you know what I'm saying? So I try to shine a light on the awareness of autism that people are out there that are actually trying to help you out. And we as black people don't really get those resources. So right. I was trying to bring the resources to it, you know what I'm saying? So I try to invite everybody out, you know, my first show, you know what I'm saying? I had a few people out, you know what I'm saying? All my buddies came out to support. This show, I'm going to try to, you know, you know, reach out some more, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Just tell people, you know what I'm saying? Don't, you know, just come on in, you know what I'm saying? It's a show, you get awards, and it's also bringing awareness. And it's also, you know what I'm saying, it also shine a light on other shops too, you know what I'm saying? Because people, it's word of mouth, because I get a lot, of, all my stuff is word of mouth. Right. You know what I'm saying? Whatever I do in the post up. But you know what I'm saying? People want to know and want to come and see what you're doing. Instead of looking at it online, they want to see it in person. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are visual people. They want to come see it in person. So I'm trying to present you, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, here's my show, but I'm promoting you guys as well. You know what I'm saying? So right. come on out. You know what I'm saying? Showcase the work. So people, you know, hey, I like your work. I like your work, man. Well, you know, we'll talk, we'll talk numbers. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's the name of the game. Because here's the thing when it comes to back um, to go back to the autism, everybody has somebody that's autistic in their family. Yeah. You might not directly have a child or a parent or a sibling or a whatever, but everybody has somebody that's autistic in their family. Now, the level like where they are, it might not be as severe or what extreme or, you know what I'm saying? It might be mildly yeah. or it might be all the way back. It's it's different ends of the spectrum. You yeah. get what I'm saying? So yeah. you might that you might have somebody that's on the you know on the on the high end of the spectrum that's autistic. Yeah. But you might have somebody that's barely. But that was a dope idea to try and bring awareness to the autism. Yeah. You know I'm gonna keep it going. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna we're gonna do it again this year. You know what I'm saying? Trying to find a good venue for it. You know what I'm saying? And all. Uh, and we'll bring more kids out, you know what I'm saying? Because I want to bring more kids. I was trying to get, actually, I was trying to get Easter Seals to bring out some kids, you know what I'm saying, to come out to the car show and everything, you know what I'm saying, so you can see. So I'm looking for a venue. Might incorporate some bouncing houses or like that, you know, something for kid friendly, family friendly environment, you know what I'm saying? So people can have the awareness. And I'm going to invite a couple more, uh, 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 what I'm trying to say. I'm going to invite some more, uh, I, I I think about it, man. I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> okay, so so the, you ha- you don't have a date for next year, you know, and you're not where, sure where it's gonna be. 
I don't have a date just yet. I might do it around the same time this year. You know what I'm saying? I, I try to I try to see who go who's doing what on the calendar, you know what I'm saying? Right. Because you know, a lot of stuff went on that weekend. Freak me, a whole bunch of stuff went on that weekend. Truck fest. I said, golly. But people came, you know, people still came out. So, you know what I mean? My first show, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I appreciate the people that came out, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it'd be a little, little better, it'd be better next year, you know what I mean? And right. just incorporate a lot more things to it. Right. So, um, as far as on the car side, are mm -hmm. you more preferable to car shows or racing? I like car shows, man. I can't can't do racing, man. I know I don't folks like racing, but I man, I'm in showing off, not speeding. Why don't you like you don't go to the races? Well, you I I used to go to racing, man. I just think that, you know what I'm saying, being honest, man, it just take too it's too much time to do nothing. And you know what I'm saying, by the time they actually put on a race, it's twelve, one o'clock in the morning. Right. So if you're going to get it on, get it on. Let's get it on out of the way. You know what I'm saying? You done locked in your money. You done talked about it three days ago. Lock everything in. So when you get to the track, you put on a show. Right. Everybody know who's going to grudge. You line it up. Get to it. Ain't, ain't no more talking at the line. We are going to sell everything up. All the side bidding on the stage. You know what I'm saying? Y'all side bid on the side. Everybody that's done locked in, done locked in. Let's go and get it out of the way. Right. So, you know, it's my thing. You know, I done been to the track, man, all night long. They be fun, but you know what I'm saying? I'm more into like going to show, man, laid back and you know what I'm saying, and just kicking and watching, looking at the nice cars. You don't feel like at though, I mean, I guess that's the same can go for races though, but you don't feel like at car shows at, at some point we just seeing the same thing over and over and over and over and over. Yeah, yeah sometimes it get repetitive. That's why, you know what I'm saying, you try to reach out to like different organizations. You try to reach out to different car cultures to bring different stuff in like i reached out to even low rider people you know what i'm saying i try to reach out to everybody you know what i'm saying low rock i want different class of cars you know so not just the same car you see that's why we try to put on a show that's for you know what I'm saying old cars your classic cars your low riders your lifted trucks you know what I'm saying so it brings a different effect to what you're really looking at. So I'm always going to try to reach out to different vent, different car cultures just to bring it in. Because I like right. looking at low rides. I like looking at trucks. I like different cars, you know what I'm saying, just not the same car, you know what I'm saying. So, you know, I like like the shows this year. They had Bart Chevy show. They had, you know what I'm saying, G-Body show. I like stuff like that, you know what I'm saying. It, it brings attention to that particular car. So as a painter, you know what I'm saying, you can bring attention to all the work that you're doing Right. Cause you're working on trucks, working on a different kind of car, working on OBS, you're working on all this, and you bring it to the show. And it's, you know what I'm saying, that's why I reach out to a lot of painters and a lot of shops to say, man, get your customers, come on out to the show so we can see a different variety of cars that have been painted, that has been, you know what I'm saying, been put together so people can see something different, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, so you reach out to your customers. So if you got cars in your shop, then if you're going to drop them, drop them in, you know what I mean? People right. ain't seen them yet. Somebody said, um, no question. I just wanted him to know he's the best wet show. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's the home of the wet show, 404-957-2939. <laughs> oh, that's, that's what it's called, the home of the wet show? Yeah, home of the wet show. Oh, my, okay. My, my, slogan, my slogan used to be uh, mirror shine paint that you can pick your nose in. Really? Yeah, yeah, my but uh, my buddy uh from uh uh Tampa gave me that uh 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 Kendrick. He we was at we worked at the bank. He said mirror shine paint picking those in. So I made sure my car have a real mirror shine finish that you actually look in the mirror like you look in the mirror, look through the paint, and you can actually comb your hair, dress up in it. You know, see not just a blurry reflection. You see, uh, like you're looking in a mirror actually. Right. That, that's my that's my that's my slogan. That's that's how, that's why I try to do my cars to look that way, you know, give that unique look. Has there ever been a time that you had a customer that was from hell that you was just like, oh my God, I'm about to kill him or her. This is just not, <laughs> this is not right. <laughs> well, I don't 
And you don't say no names or go into specifics, but I don't bump head before, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't bump head, but it's it's you know, just miscommunication, you know. Sometimes, you know, we, we do prolong stuff a little bit. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, we prolong stuff a little bit, you know, so sometimes stuff come up and you got you know, people have things going on. So, you know, you know, we try to be mindful of everything, you know. So so we bump heads and now, but you gotta be you gotta be grown enough to say, Hey man, let's sit down and talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Cause we don't have a conversation. We just, hey, let's have a let's talk. Let's walk out here, you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna do no huffing and puffing and hooping and hollering, but we're gonna sit down and talk like grown people. Right. Why do you think so many cars? I mean, so many um, shops have so many issues with. Okay, okay. So let me give you a scenario. I know people that have shops, right? Mm -hmm. And they have a car, and the car been there two years. Okay. They ain't seen the customer. They ain't heard from the customer. Okay. They've been the the cu customer been ran out of money for their build. You know okay. what I'm saying? They ain't yep. brought no money to them. Okay. Why do you think it's such an issue with like, okay, you supposed to have been put a mechanic lean on this car. Yeah. You know you're supposed to have been like sold these people car, right? Right, right. Yeah. Why do you think so, so many shops have a problem with doing that? Well, me personally, I done had a car that been painted that, that I still got. I ain't heard from a customer in a long time. I ain't heard from any folks. I just give people opportunity. Me, I give a person an opportunity to say, hey, man, this your, this, your, this your stuff, man. You know, if you want to come get it, come get it. I ain't finna say I'm finna put no lean on you because I don't want, you know, at a given point of time, you know, that caused problem. But by law, by right, you had a right to, hey, I'm going to put a lean on this car. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, boom. I ain't heard from that person. And if you ain't heard from them, hey, shoot, that's what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? But I won't, I won't threaten nobody with no lean, just come pick no car. You know, right. people have problems. You know what I'm saying? People run across problems all the time. But if you ain't heard from them, then you know what I'm saying. <laughs> the grace period really old where you got to do what you got to do. Right. People do have problems, but here's the thing: at what point, at what what point do you handle the business? This car. Let's say you got a car and the car been there two and a half years. Bro, it's been time to handle the business. And yeah. business, this is what I tell people. Business is never personal. Right. He That's said true. nobody wants to be the bad guy in a lot of those situations. But is it really being the bad guy? If you if I if you ain't seen me in two and a half years, first of all, how you know I ain't dead? And the car right, just right. sitting on your lot. Right, right. Now see, now I'm gonna be honest about some things. Now, um me as a Personally, I communicate with my people. I say, hey, man, if you got stuff going on in your life, you know, you got a life situation, you got life life in, I tell for, hey, man, fuck a goddamn car. Being, you know, not being blunt, but fuck a car, man. Take care of your house. You know, so right. you get back with me when you when you handle your business. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to do nothing crazy for you. You know what I'm saying? I, I won't be the type of person to say, man, I'm going to take this shit, man. You're going through shit, man. I know... He ain't got no money, but if you got somebody that's really going through some problems and they trying to take care of business, so I still for all the time say, hey man, take care of your personal business first, man. If this car shit of weight, man. It's your your house is what's important. If you trying to put a car together and you about to lose your house, damn that car, man. Get your stuff together, man. Come see me when you get your stuff straight. You know what right. I'm saying? Because you 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 know what I'm saying? It ain't always about it's about a relationship you build with somebody. Right. Yeah, we cool, you know what I'm saying, but it's a relationship. You got to respect the relationship that I ain't going to be the type of person to say, man, I'm going to take your shit. I know you're going through problems. I know you're going through here. And I ain't trying to that, – yeah, that's bad karma, you know what I'm saying. I believe in karma, you know, so that's bad. That's bad for a person to kiss somebody when they die. But if you got to understand with that person, then, you know what I'm saying, then I'm like, I'll give you that grace. You just come, let's, let's straighten the business when you, when you straighten yourself out. Yeah, but business is never personal because guess what? If it was, let's just say, Toyota, and oh, bingo. the work was done, and you bingo. ain't going to pick up your car, guess bingo. what? It's their car. Yeah, that's true. You know? And so, and so that's the thing. That's the thing that I see about a lot of shops. You, I won't say your shop in particular because I don't know that to be true for your shop because I haven't really been, you know, at your shop like that. Yeah. But 
the majority of the shops they, they ain't seen these people in 25 years okay. and the car still sitting there it's taking up space it's making in, in in a lot of instances their shop look like a junkyard right, you right. know what i'm saying you got you got if you got space for 20 cars and 12 of, of them ain't been picked up and you ain't heard from the customer at what point do you handle the business because business is never personal it ain't. If, you, if you ain't heard from then you got to handle the bill you know what i'm saying you know just how to make 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 time to have administration they say let me go on and take care of this little paperwork you know what i'm saying let the court do what they got to do do it the right way and then you know what i'm saying once everything come in from the court then hey you know what i'm saying then you do what you do you know what i'm saying you gave opportunity you, you sent the letters out you did it the right way you ain't stealing you just say hey man I've been trying to get in touch with you. Like I called down, I got called down now. I've been trying to get in touch with somebody, man, about a red car that been sitting on my shots in November. Wow. I said, hey, man, you heard from the insurance company? Man, start on the phone. So all I can do now is, hey, go on, do some paperwork, you know, say, send it to the upper room. Because right now it's in the graveyard. You know, so once you get that graveyard, it's hard to get back around that building. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I you gotta do sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do if you especially they ain't out, especially you don't call them and, you, and they used to answer the phone for you and they stop then you're like okay I see where we're going with this let me go and take care of that building right then you got that so then you come the building right you know, so, but if you ain't heard from them in so many years it's time to come the business so I agree with that it's just that building per we just gotta have administrative data just handle the building you know right. what I'm saying because we get out there with other stuff instead of handling the business but i i feel them on that you know you got to handle the business at some point in time because that will you, you, it will take up a lot of space then you run out of room and the other thing is put it on the receipt yeah because one thing one thing about it men lie women lie sometimes everything lie but them numbers don't lie and that paperwork speaks for itself so if you mm -hmm. got a little clause on your receipts mm -hmm. that say Blah 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 blah. Then guess what? You the one signed it. Right. You get what I'm saying? So you can't be mad at me because you signed this receipt that said if I call you and you have not picked up your car within 30 days or whatever the time frame is, it, it got to lean on it now. Right. So you might as well not even come back. And somebody said in the comments, "What if they like Suge Knight? Well, then they just gonna have to be like Suge Knight. We gonna have to figure it out." Because guess what? Business is never personal. And if we're being honest, we're the only ones that do business in that way. Right. You get what right. I'm saying? Because yeah. like I said, Toyota, Toyota, when you leave your car, I don't know, I don't know, I've never had a Toyota, but let me say Chevy. Mm -hmm. If you leave your car and they done done that work at Chevy, I don't know what the time frame is, but they not keeping your car no two years. No. You got, you got 10 days. See what I'm saying? So why am I? To, why is why is your shop to be treated any different than Chevy? They would have picked. They would have went and picked up their car from Chevy. Right. right, you got that right. That's true. We just we just we just have to be more. You know, so we have to be more business minded. Sometimes we got a habit of being business minded, and you know, saying not having a business. Right. That go. Oh, that 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 go for me too. You know, saying sometimes you know you have verbals, but then verbals change. You know, what I'm saying. <laughs> So you know it is what it is. You gotta, you got the pen. You got, you got the pen. A lot of people. Yeah, you got, you got to. I, what I see a lot of is ain't nobody giving nobody no receipt. They drop right. their car off. Wait, did you write up some paperwork? <laughs> <laughs> they just drop the car off. How you let these folks drop their car off and they ain't you ain't wrote them no paperwork? <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, it get, it get, it get, it get a little messy though. Yeah. So guess what? Now it's their word against yours. Mm -hmm. You saying they dropped it off on the on the on the last year. Mm -hmm. They saying they dropped it off fifteen days ago. Yeah. Right. So it's your yeah. word against theirs. So yeah. If you could change what one thing about the car culture, what would that one thing be? Uh I would say uh show a lot of support, you know what I'm saying? Show a lot of support to people, you know what I'm saying? 
you know, it ain't about clicks, you know what I'm saying? We click up here now and then, you know what I'm saying? It's true, it's clicks and, and anything, you know what I'm saying? But support, you know what I'm saying? No matter what they do, people support you in any kind of way and being it just it don't show it don't it don't cost nothing to support. Right. You know what I'm saying? Support support somebody's business and support what they do. You know, come out to the event. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to like them, but, you know, sure, you know, hey, they, they mess with you in any kind of way to support your business, any kind of way. You know what I'm saying? That's what we lack of support. You know what I'm saying? You'll see me out at an event, man. I'm going to come through. I'm going to creep. I'm going to cruel through. I'm going to have my work clothes on. I'm going to slide in. It'll take you. You're going back to work at I said, yeah, I'm heading back. I was just coming through the slide through, show my face. Roll through, see what I see, and I'm going right back at it. Right. Yeah, support is support is a crazy thing. I and you know what's what's weird about support? It's never the people that you feel like should support you, or even the people that will switch you shooting in the gym. It's usually always strangers that support you. Yeah, it'd be a lot of strangers that do um, that, that that will support you. But you know, you got a lot of you got a lot of friends that will support. I got a lot of friends that support my bed, you know what I'm saying? If it's just a phone call, I'm just checking on you today, bro. What's going on with you? You know what I'm saying? So it's really support, you know, you get support from family, some folk, you know, you got some family, they they just looking for a deal. But you know what I'm saying? But you know, you get support, you know, from the from the likings of the people that support you. You know what I'm saying? But all the homies usually got that, you know, support, even if they, they just call the chick on me and just chew shit with me every day. You know what I wish we could bring back? The what times when people built the cars for themselves. Not yeah. built the car for clout or trying to um, keep up with the Joneses or whatever. I really miss the time when people like built their cars to build a car because they loved the cars yeah. you get what i'm yeah. saying yeah like the time when okay like i grew up in florida so dunks have always been popular in florida not saying that they they hadn't been popular in other areas of the country but we legitimately probably were the place that named them dunks yeah you get what i'm saying uh -huh. so back in the days when i grew up like them boys they built their cars for themselves and of course they built their cars for the whole like they wanted, you know what I'm saying? They wanted, they had that, you know what I mean? But now, like, I feel like people are building cars. People are like, people that, that they've been lame since daycare. They was lame in elementary school. They was lame in middle school. They was lame in high school. If they went to college, they was lame then. They've been lame their whole entire life. Now they got a car and a couple dollars. Yeah. And they still a lane, but they got a car and a couple of cars or a car and a couple of dollars. Yeah. And now they are no longer a lane because they got a car. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But bro, you've been lame your whole entire life. Like Right. You know we know you in real life, right? Right. Right. <laughs> they car they car they can catch a lot of attention, but you know what I'm saying. I tell people, man, work on work on what you can work on. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to just be and then just to say, man, I'm going to have the hardest because you chasing, you trying to chase being the hardest, you're going to chase that money right on out the door. Right. You know what I'm saying? You go broke trying to be the hardest. But mm -hmm. if you build it for your life, you know what I'm saying? If you got swag, you, you got a little, you know what I'm saying, a little up with it, you know what I'm saying? You can build your car with taste and it will look better than a nigga that spent a million dollars on the don't uh, a million dollars on the car because you right. it's in you not on you you know uh, what i'm saying say it and one more time for the people in the back it's in you and not on you you okay. know what i'm saying i can i can i can look like i look now and he work right so i'm gonna pull up i know how to put a car together you know what i'm saying i ain't got i ain't gonna have a whole lot of money when i put it together but i got my sweat i got my taste and i know how to put something together and make it look like i done spent you know, I tell people all the time, you know what I'm saying, you spend money with me, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to give you a job that look like you done spent way more money with you paid me, you know what I'm saying, because right. I'm going to put my heart in the car. So if you ain't, if you come to me and you ain't giving no problems with me, you know what I'm saying, you you coming and I say, hey, man, I need what's what you, and you coming on with it, you know, so I, I feel that I'm going to give you my all. But if you slacking on me, then I'm going to back up a little bit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Show me. It's like a relationship. Hey, you got to show me 
you know what I'm saying? You you you, you vibing with me, and you know, I show you, I give you my all. But if you ain't showing me that, I'm gonna sit back and be reserved and look at you. You right. know what I'm saying? So it's just like that, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna put our all in it, we're gonna make you look like that you done spent that money now. And you know what I'm saying, just like I say, if it's if you can put a car together, you ain't gotta follow the trend. But if you got a little piece of hair, you, you got your little you got your little trinkets together, you got your color combos together, you know what I'm saying? Cause I could put a color combo together for you and make you look you know, like you done spent it, you know what I'm saying? I know how to put it together for you. You're like a wearing a suit, you know what I'm saying? You put it together, got your outfit together, you got it laid out, and boom, you look like the man done spent a, a sixty in the car, a seven mm -hmm. in the car, and you got the look, you know what I'm saying, but you ain't spent all that money. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's how you put it together. Yeah, I don't know. How to, you're right. But then the other thing is, like I said, you got you got that lame factor. These real lames. How how you how they used to say L12? Is that what it's called? L12? Yeah, <laughs> These real L12s putting cars together, and now yeah. all of a sudden you magically are not a lame anymore. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. I just, I just be looking at them stretch. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I just be looking at them. Cause like you said, it gotta be in you and not on you. And if right. you a lame, you just still a lame. Right, you know right. Car don't make it. Right. But that's the thing when it comes to this new car era. Now mm. all of a sudden, the oh yeah, L seven, yeah. Now all of a sudden, this new car era, cause you get a little car. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You 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 ain't you ain't lame no more, and that's not true. Right, 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 right. Yeah, you can't you, you can't you know what I'm saying the car don't make you, the car will break but you. The car, but people feel like the car make these new folks. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. they know chasing car. You know they chase it. You see, sir, sir, man. You know, but people like that. You know what I'm saying? People looking to be acknowledged. You know what I'm saying? So I don't get in there. I just man, I just you know, hey, do you? Got to do you. Do you feel like social media hurt the car game or helped the car game, or or maybe you feel like both? I feel social media gave about a uh, social media gave everybody a platform. You know what I'm saying? It gave you a platform. It gave you whereas that you're only in the city and people see your work in the city and it. Gave Give you a variety of other customers want to see your work. Cause it's a lot of people out of state. They ain't happy with them what they got out of state. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you get a lot of people going, going to different states trying to get stuff done. You know what I'm saying? Because they're trying to chase that look. They're trying to chase that look. They're trying to chase it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, social media help everybody. You know what I'm saying? Help everybody in the, in the long run. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying, it, it just, you know, I feel that it, it helps out. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? You get you get you get more exposure. Right. Then you know what I'm saying? The good come with the bad. As you get good exposure, you got yeah, bad right. exposure too. You right. open yourself up. Right. You know what I'm saying? You get bad exposure. You know what I'm saying? If you if you get on there and they see you uh you know fussing all day long, <laughs> that's bad exposure. But then but then the flip side of that is this. Some folks like to chase drama. Right. Shit, I wanna be on, right. I wanna be I wanna be the fly on the wall to see what's going on that day over there. You know what I'm saying? So people chase drama <laughs> and you get drama sales, you know what I'm saying? Folk pay for that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna pay to get cussed out. <laughs> I, you know, here's the thing when it comes to I, I know you don't. We don't all seen it. Everybody on here can agree. So, social media to me, probably more, and it sounds probably crazy for me to say, being that I am a social media personality, right? Yeah. But some social media. Social media fools a lot of people. Have you ever seen that car? And you seen that car on the internet? And oh my god, on the internet that car was bad, bad, bad. You hear me? That thing was bad. The paint looked good. Everything just looked good. And yeah. Then when you see that car in person, you be like, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, pretty pigs. <laughs> 
pretty what? Pretty, pretty pig. <laughs> no, I'm saying I call them pretty pig. They fit the right. foot of the line. They look real good, but then in person, they 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 uh, my man call it a trash can. You know. Oh my god. Yeah, my my guys are hard, but they call them trash can. Did you see that trash can? You know, say I seen the person. I just look. I said, yeah, I seen the person, but you know, hey. But you get that a lot, you know what I'm saying? People, people, that's why, that's why we try to do shows and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, you know, bring your bring cars up so people can see. You know, everybody ain't about camera. You know, it's about what you actually phys physically can see. You know right. what I'm saying? People want to actually see it. So right. that's why people come to your shop, hey, man, you got a thing you painting? You know what I'm saying? Hey, I got such so, so I painted right here. Or, hey, I'm going to call my buddy, let him pull up, let you see what he got going on. Or, we're going to be at this spot here. Come to my show, or come to this show here. We're going to be out there this weekend. Get pull up on us, and this is where we're going to be at right here. And come see cars in person. Right. And that's why, that's why I, I like shows, because they actually let people see what they're seeing in person. You know? That's what I think y'all should have to do. I think all people who, like, paint and customize cars, you should have to have, like, at least two to three cars all the time at your business that you have done or yeah. a resume because I don't even feel like a book can, you know, can show because we ain't going to see them imperfections. We ain't going to see that. You know what I'm saying? You that them gaps in the doors. We ain't going to see them things that we, that you gonna show us your, you gonna put your best foot forward. I just feel like some of them, I, you know, we, we ain't going to start speaking names. We're not going to do that. But I have seen some cars that on the internet, them cars was, the people thought them cars was the best thing since sliced bread. And baby, I'm here to tell you, they was not. Right. They were Swiss cheese. That's what they was. Right, Swiss right, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It'd be like that. You know what I'm saying? I tell everybody, man, you know what I'm saying? If you're in the game, you know what I'm saying, pick your lane to 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 drive in, you know what I'm saying? Pick your lane, you know, always concentrate on doing the best you can do on your stuff. You know, I got people that call me all the time, man. They 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 ask me my advice, you know what I'm saying? I sit down and chop it up with them, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I like that, you could do this, you know what I'm saying? I would do this. Or push this a little bit more. You know what I'm right. saying? You wanna get this look, push this look. You know what I'm saying? And you gotta be a help to people, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? As we are, as old as a, I can't say old because I, I mean, I'm, I'm still, I'm young. Oh, but, okay. Uh, yeah, but as, as as people that's been in the game for a long time, it's, it's time to really just help other people, you know what I'm saying, give them advice on what's, what what they can do. You know what I'm saying? It's not picking on nobody. Just say, hey, man, I would just, I would, I would concentrate on this right here. You want right. to get to, you want to get to a certain level and hey, concentrate on this right here. Hone in on this skill right here. And then you know what I'm saying, be better at that, then everything else will come to you. Everything else will come down to you. You know what I'm saying? Cause I always just striving, like people tell me, you know, they say that boy got it, he he slow. That some bitch can paint like a motherfucker. That nigga body work is got that do some hell out of some body work. You know what I'm saying? I concentrate on my body work because at the end of the day, people look at the whole Picture, you know what I'm saying? They look at the body work. They look at how straight the lines are. They look at how straight the body work is. They look at make sure you no know, wave in the pound and like that. And you know what I'm saying? That way, when you do paint a car, your body work is phenomenal. It's, it's, it's excellent. So if you if you had a bad day painting, your body work will be there and you can't really tell. You know, because people look at that body work. Paint can be shiny. You know, paint, people like wet paint and everything, but a lot of people like that body work. You know what I'm saying? So... That's that's what a lot of my customers they 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 say, hey man, I want my body straight, you know what I'm saying? And that, that body work really would taste the time, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna pick it. I'm gonna find something, you know what I'm saying? I can find a net in a in a uh in a in a pile of hay. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick it, I'm gonna pick it apart. You know, I'm real picky when it comes to me, you know what I'm saying? That I, with the work I'm trying to put out. I'm real, I'm really, really I always been picky. You know what I'm saying? You got to be picky with yourself. In order to be real successful in in this game, you know what I'm saying. I tell people all the time, it ain't always about the money. It's about the product. You know what I'm saying. If you got that good, if you got that good drop, people gonna come to you all the time. They're gonna good come. Don't sell itself. Yeah, they're gonna 
come from far as the eye can see, the east, the west, they're going to come because you got that straight drop. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got that whip. You ain't, you ain't ripping it up. Cause, you know, you go see them car and they whipped up. You know they will. You know what I'm saying? Right. But you got straight drop. You know what I'm saying? People people was waiting line. They would, they would say, hey, let me know when you got an opening for me to come on in. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I tell, you know, so I would tell them people, I tell people all the time, I say, man, I, you don't go around and chase some work. Work chase you. It's like a, you don't go chase, what they say, uh, 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 you lose money chasing women, but you ain't gonna lose no woman, or you you ain't gonna a woman will chase you. You got the money, or whatever they say. But you you know what I'm saying? It, right. It's if you got good work, people gonna come to you, no matter where you at. They'll wait in line. They'll say, "Man, just call me. You got an opening." You know. Is what I'm that saying? the best piece of advice that you would give somebody that's starting to that's trying to start a car customization shop? What's what's your best piece of advice? My best piece of advice is, man, you know what I'm saying. Honestly, the money gonna come. Right. The money gonna come. It ain't you can't chase the money all the time. Eventually, you got to, you got to, you got to, you know what I'm saying? It comes. You know what I'm saying? You might, you might. Sometimes when I started off, I wasn't making no money. You know what I'm saying? I want, I was making a little money. You know, when I first started, off, folks swear I said I was high. They said that nigga that high as hell. I started out the gate. You know what I'm saying? They said, man, nigga told me eighty five. They was back in. Well, I'm from two two thousand five start my shop in two thousand six. Man said, man, he charged me eighty five hundred dollars for a paint job. This nigga is crazy. I said, man, you want this, 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 this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, so you got to start. You start somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And then it, right. as you get competition, it's like practice. You know, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do some job for. I'm gonna start paying cars at fifteen hundred dollars. Okay. It ain't about the money, it's about the repetition. The more and more I do, the better, better I get. The more my work gets seen. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to give you more than what you actually paying. It ain't about the money all the time. The money going to come. Right. Eventually, your work come out there, your work gets seen, then your price start going up. Right. Your clientele start building, your price start going up. You start right. doing more and more. More, 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 more. You start getting better and better as you practicing during your first stage as you practicing. Then you start beginning, you start getting confident in yourself and you start staying yourself a standard. This is the standard I'm going with. This is my standard. This is what I want to do. So I'm going to give you my standard work. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to give you no bullshit because I ain't going to bullshit myself. So right. as it go on and go on, then the money start coming. Then you start getting customers coming in. They start coming to you. They call. They start calling. Hey man, when you got when you got to open it. Hey man, I want you to do my car. I seen your work, man. I seen you go. I seen the car you did, man. Why well, I like that, man. Hey, let me know when you got availability. You know, so I want to come fuck with you. You know, what I'm saying eventually in time, you're not chasing people. You know, what I'm saying you go to shows. You know, what I'm saying you can pull up, have your car to show. They looking at it. Like, Damn, boy. Hey, hey, give me your number. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna get with you. Hey, we got to open it. Then you know, what I'm saying then you start calling your prices. You know, your prices start coming. You know what I'm saying? Then you as the work increases, then you start increasing your your craft. You're getting honed in on your craft. Your craft is getting better. You start offering more services. Then your money start getting it. The money will come to you. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, you ain't chasing. So you can sit back and say, hey, man, I'm working on these cars right here. I ain't got that call nobody for no car. Hey, my phone ringing. Hey, when can you see me? You know, I offer specials right now. 1500 pounds. I do pay specials because I just want to give back, you know what I'm saying? People want to, people will pay for a paint spell just to say, I paint their car. They don't give oh, that's what's up. work being done. They say, man, I really want you to paint my car. I can't afford the price you gave, you know, your prices, but if you offer a special, I really want you to paint my car. I just say I had you paint a car for me. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's when you, when you know that, hey, man, I used to think it's special. I used to say, man, I don't do no paint special, man. But then I got people say, uh, I had a dude uh, some years ago when I did a painting. He said, but I don't want your special. I want your work. I said, hey, man, I get that. But then, you know, people say, I just really want you to paint my car, which made me feel like saying people really like your work. And I feel one of that people really want me to do a car for them. You know what I'm saying? I can't afford that price, you know what I'm saying? But I'd rather get something that you done did to say that you done painted it. And so, right. therefore, I'm going to go – Harder on the, you know, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give you, go hard on the special like I'm doing a regular car, 
I'm going to give you what you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? I joke around a lot, but you know what I'm saying? Honestly, I'm going to give you something because that you, you, you come to me and say, man, I can't afford that, but I can afford this. Right. I really want you to do this for me. I've been, I've been checking you out. I've been looking at you, man. I like your work. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, boom, okay, I run a special. So I increase the special out. You know what I'm saying? I I don't need no work. You know what I'm saying? I got plenty of work in there to do. You right. know what I'm saying? I got I got I got a lot of work that led me to next next summer. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't looking for it. You know what I'm saying? But I I I, I like the opportunity for people to say they like my work. They wanna, hey, let me get on your waiting list. Just check with me. I say I always check with me. Say I might have some coming out. I might have some dropping. But the window opportunity is always slim. Once some leave, it might be two more trying to come. So I like, hey man, just call me. You know, keep in touch with me. You know what I'm saying? I I, I fit you in. On the flip side of that, what's the best piece of advice you have for somebody that's looking to build a car, get a car built? Let, let's say that. Be realistic. Can't chase you can't chase what everybody else doing because everybody money ain't your money. Your money is not, not my money. I get people to do I get people to say, man, I got a lot of money. Your money is not my money. Right. So That's spend your money and why actually. And we can build we can build you a car on a budget, you know what I'm saying, that that that's, that's top tier. Right. You don't have to dump a, you ain't got to dump a second unless you just, you know, you trying to you trying to go that way. You won't the next trinkets you want to, you want you want the you want all these these seal plates you want all this billet stuff you want all this other stuff going in the car you know so you want to do all that that's on your budget it's just plan a budget out what you're really trying to spend be realistic with yourself because if you get in that car and start adding the prices don't stop it's gonna keep adding up and then if they know you gotta be on the, you on a budget say man I want to this is where I want to be at. I don't want to go past this right here. Then we'll sit down and say, okay, we're going to get a plan of action going on. You know what I'm saying? I tip I give you a plan. I'm here to make money, but I ain't trying to kill you. Right. So, I'm going to look out for you when I need to be looking out for me. Right. But you know, you know what I'm saying? That's how that's how that's how I am. You know what I'm saying? I'll make sure I take I sometimes I take the L's a lot of time, you know what I'm saying? But I want to make sure everything, everybody looking how they need to look, but we're gonna be on a budget. We can spend this right here. We'll do this instead of this right here. We can go this route right instead of this route right here. You know what I'm saying? I give you a plan. I always have a plan and be realistic with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because life going to keep lifing and that car right. can end up sitting still. Right. So have your money put, have your budget in mind and have at least 75% of your money saved up already. You it, know what I'm saying? Have that money right. saved up. Because um, realistically, how long did it take you to for your shop? You say you started in 05, 06? Yo, 05. I, I, my son was born. I worked at the bank. My mm -hmm. son was born. Shoot, I took a paternity leave. Came back to work and quit. I said, <laughs> fuck this shit. So I was trying to be corporate, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to get me, I was trying to get move up, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to do the, the job thing. Then right. I just said, man, people gonna keep looking over it and you qualified. People gonna keep looking over you. And I'm like, man, you know what I'm saying? I had got a truck. My supervisor said, ooh, you got a new truck. He, he started shitting on me. <laughs> I said, man, God damn, I, I keep catching hell. So, you know what I'm saying? I came in, I just said, man, shit, fuck this. I, I was in school. I went ahead. I, I was doing work on the side of the house while I was working. Right. You know, so I was doing paint cars in my mama's backyard. You know what I'm saying? I paint a couple cars for a lot of people that sold their car and they, they still around in my mom's backyard. And and I went to jobs when I was working. I was looking for jobs. And a lot of people, uh, I went to job with my portfolio. They said, damn, man, you paint real good. And they said, where you paint the car? I said, in my backyard. He said, damn. And I had a buddy that paint car. He said, man, you got a gift. He said, you listen and you produce. He said, man, you paint better. Then when I first started, he said, man, you paint better than somebody been studying them up on me for some years. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So I had a gift. I had a gift. 
you know what I'm saying? I thank God for the gift I got, you know what I'm saying? So it was a gift. So, you know what I'm saying? I like, you know, I, I honor that. You know, I talk to my man all the time. We, we, we discuss colors and everything. So I'm like, sure, you know. He said, man, you paint better than a lot of my, my, my guys. I got pain for me now. I like, dang. But I was freshly trying to start a shop. It was a struggle. I ain't going to lie. I struggled three shops. You know, you know, I had three shops. I, had, I started, my, my rent was high at my first shop. So you know how they do. Shoot, you get behind, you ain't got no clientele. You move down right. the street. <laughs> they get mad at you. You still your clientele starting to grow a little bit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Then you had to come to realization, hey man, if I'm gonna keep doing this, man, I gotta make changes. So I end up where I'm at now, I end up moving. And you know, mm -hmm. I shared a spot with a guy. So I like split rent. I said, man, we split the rent, man. Boom, boom, boom. Try to get each other on our feet, you know. So I got on my feet. Then you know what I'm saying? I had a I was blessed with opportunity to buy my building, so I bought my building. And uh so that's where I'm at. But shoot, life is life and really. And mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It, it's it, anybody that's trying to be a boss, man, it's an you know, owner of a shop. It, it's it's fun, but shoot, you know what I'm saying? It's the long nights that people really don't see. Right. right. It's them long nights. Like I can work for Toyo and I can go home. Right. It's, did them long nights, and uh, that people don't see them phone calls you get at 12, 1 o'clock at night. Hey, man, right. I'm not going to be ready. Yeah, man, I'm at home trying to sleep, man. Or I'm at shop trying to work the one to the morning, trying to finish them up. It's a long night. It, it, it's, 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 that stuff can be stressful, but sometimes at the same time, it can be rewarding because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, you own what you own, and you, you're a business owner, and it's rewards to being your own owner, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know what I'm saying, it's growing pains. It's a life struggle. People don't really got to understand until they're in that situation. You know what I'm saying? And the other thing is, don't nobody, everybody want to be a boss till they realize the boss eat last. You pay everybody. If, if Friday come and they get paid on Friday, everybody got to get paid. And yeah. if it's a little money left, then you can get paid. Right, right. I always get paid at the end of the job. Whatever they call leave, I get paid. Right. When they call me leave, I don't get paid. I can't see no money. I know right. why I be You got to be in here on a hustle. You got to hustle, too. You got to work alongside with your people. You know what I'm saying? You got to hustle, too. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, things go wrong. Things happen. You got to be in there on the grind. You in the trenches. You know what I'm saying? Like they said, the song says, me, myself, and I sometimes. You know what I'm saying? As a boss, you're going to have that moment. You got to talk to yourself. You got you to gotta really just... Hype yourself up, say, man, let me go and finish this car. Let me go, I'm tired. Let me go and finish this car. Let me go and finish this car. Because that phone going to keep ringing. Right. They gonna ring. How long did it realistically take for you to uh, run your business before you, like, felt, before it was, I won't say it never gets comfortable, but how long did it take for you to run your business? You was like, now I can breathe a little bit. Like, it's, 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 it's picking up so I can breathe some. But I ain't breathe yet. You ain't breathe since 2005. Man, <laughs> 2006. Man, ain't breathe yet. Right. Man, man, I'm still trying to breathe. I, I said I'm going to take me a break one day, but shoot, man. I had to make, I, sometimes you got to take time for yourself because sometimes, man, you really, you will work, you'll work, and you'll work, and people, your customers will have you working. And I tell people all the time, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we got families too. My life is right. not this top, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get you, you know, so I just, hey, I start on my phone, I put my phone down, you know what I'm saying? We get to work, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to take that break. You got to have that me time because you croak, that car still going to be there. Facts. Nobody sees those late nights and early mornings and, you know what I'm saying? Nobody, nobody sees, everybody sees the glitz and the glamour of being a boss or an owner or whatever you consider yourself, but nobody sees that Sometimes you're driving home and you're so tired, you can't even, you, you, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to get, just trying to get home. Yeah. Or you want to sleep a little bit later, but you can't do that. And you might get three hours of sleep. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, nobody sees that part. Everybody feels like, oh, Stretch got it. He painting all these nice cars. He got this shot. He got whoop de whoop. They don't know. You barely sleeping. You barely, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody understands it. Sees that part. 
stretch a stretch a closed shot down. I said sometimes I might see here. I might I might get off like at eleven o'clock, and I might get in my truck, crank the truck up. I sit back, back a little bit, then my truck warm up. You I blink. Fell asleep. I don't fell asleep at one o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm riding down the dog street with the woman down saying, man, I got to get up. I got to make it to the house. And I'll be like this. I mean, none. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's, 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 that's business. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the life of the business. When you, you put in a long hour, you know what I'm saying? If I'm finna paint a car, sometimes I might not get through painting a car to four in the morning. You know right. what I'm saying? Especially if I get started at five o'clock, six o'clock, I'm going to pop that Red Bull. And then shoot when it when I feel it when I feel it, shoot I go on to go. She let that know what what eight ball said daylight gonna catch him up again. And sometimes right. like dang it's daylight outside again. You know I go home go to sleep and right back at it. Right. Even about two three hours of sleep and then that long clock go off. I say shit time to make the donuts like the Dunkin' Donut man. Time to make the donut be tired. But yeah. So how, yeah, how do donut. you manage? I'm sorry I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. No, no that's life would. How do you manage um, your personal life and shop life? How do you balance? I'll still try to balance it, man. I, I, it's, 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 yeah, I'm trying to balance, man. It's hard. It was, it, it, you got to try to balance. You know, you got to turn it off. You got to be able to turn it off. Honestly, really, I, I you know, yeah. You, you, you really, I, I, I'm learned. I've I, over the years, yeah. You, you, you got to learn how to, you'll suffer. Everything will suffer. Honestly, everything will suffer you can't if you don't turn it off. You'll right. lose a lot if you, don't turn, if you don't turn it off. So you got to make yourself turn it off. You know what I'm saying? You like you 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 try to spend time with the kid and they think, no, shit, they little. And they think, no, you're looking around. They, they graduating high school. They they ready to get up out the house. You're like, damn, what time flew. But you you so you eat work all the time, you know. So you got to turn it off. You got to make if you can't turn, you got to make yourself turn it off. Right. You know what I'm saying? Be like, hey, hey take the take the attitude. Shoot, man, you don't want to say fuck them folk, man. They'll be here tomorrow. You got to turn it off and say, man, let me just try to regroup tomorrow. Let me let me give me a day, you know what I'm saying? Because those time family time is precious, you know what I'm saying? And you'll lose a lot if you if you if you don't turn it off. Right. Yeah. So you got to. When you are no longer uh, painting cars, or well, let me let me not let me. I have one more question before my last question. Mm -hmm. Tell everybody what is what all it is that you do at your shop. What's all the services you offer? Well, I build a car. You know, what I'm saying I go from the rooter to the tutor. You know, what I'm saying I use just paint car, but you know, what I'm saying by me knowing how to do wiring, I wire. I can wire a car up. I can do AC. I do AC work, you know what I'm saying? I do brace. I do suspension. I do frame offs, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I do a lot of, I offer a lot of cars. You can drop your car off and then you can pick it up and it's done with the interior and everything. Because I got, you know, I, I got interior people, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I deal with, you know what I'm saying? So basically, like a one stop shop. You can drop off. I used to sell wheels, but I try to, you know, I just, I just send people to people I know to send wheels, to sell wheels, you know what I'm saying? You can't do everything, but so, you know what I'm saying, but I can do everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? If I choose to build a car, it's, it's to me, that's therapy for me. I can sit down at late night, man, just tink around, put some suspension on the car. If I'm building a car, I put on rotation or whatnot, and just, that's that's work. That's therapy for me. You know what I'm saying? What? You putting cars on the rotisserie? I got to come over there and see that now. Yeah, I, I did an offer. I got a, I got a don't. I got a 74 don't that, that we dropped that was on offering. That's been offering on rotisserie car. And I did the uh I did a sixty I did a lot of cars a few cars I did I did two cars on rotisserie I got a couple of cars that's going on rotisserie now but I did a sixty sixty seven Impala that I did on rot I did a rotisserie restoration on it uh he's an older guy and you know what I'm saying he gonna drive he gonna drive it you know what I'm saying but it's finished car had an LS motor and all that stuff he did the motor work and everything we got the frame to go send the frame to him. And he brought the frame back to me, and you know what I'm saying? We set the car on the frame. We did on the car, we did inside the car, put quarters on it, you know what I'm saying? Did a lot of extra stuff on the car. I painted everything in the car, the dash and everything, wasn't no glass in it. So I do do 
cars like that. You know what I'm saying? I do put it down. You know what I'm saying? So whatever you get from a a shop that got 30 for work, working, I do the same thing with less people. You know what I'm saying? It might take a little time, but you know what I'm saying? The the, the same work is there. Right. You know what I'm saying? We just ain't we just ain't getting that that we trying to get that money on like they're getting, but you know what I'm saying? Some people gonna shop how they gonna they're gonna pay who they wanna pay. Right. And because black don't mean, you know what I'm saying, we're gonna take less we ain't wanna smoke dope. <laughs> so um the only the only thing you don't do is motor work. That's the only thing I don't do. I don't do no okay. motor work. I got a buddy that I got a couple buddy that do motor work. And they they in the area, so if I get need somebody to motor work, motor job, the uh, motor build, I I recommend them to a couple of guys. You know what I'm saying? We work hand in hand. You know, so we gotta you gotta have somebody to work hand in hand with. You know what I mean? Right. So to make the you know teamwork make the dream work. So you got yourself a good team of people that you you rely on. You get advice from and say, man, come on to the shop. I'm gonna send this motor here to you, man. Boom 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 boom. I'm gonna have the car wired up and have everything ready. We're gonna slap it on in. I gonna wire everything on down. Okay. You know what I mean? So. I tell people all the time, if I'm building your car, you know what I'm saying, people charge for what they do. You know what I'm saying? It's a charge for ACE. It's a charge for wine the car. My motto is, you know what I'm saying, if I'm building the car, I'm already in it, I ain't going to kill you on the price. What I can nickel and dime you to do, but I try to work it out because I'm already in the car. Right. You know what I'm saying? So my last question, uh -huh. when you are no longer um, here, no longer building cars, no longer doing your work. What mm. would you like for your legacy to be? That nigga left a, a stain on the street. He was, he was he was a good old wholesome boy. <laughs> but no, nah, I, I would like for know that you know say you know say that he 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 was a guy man that he was a he was a I'm I'm a, I'm more humble than anything you know what I'm saying I I talked I talked junk. You know, a lot of time, but I'm I'm he, I'm real laid back. I'm real I'm real to myself a lot of time. You see right. me, I hang out with people. But I, I I be to the back. You know, I be in the back a lot of time. You know, what I'm saying Cause I'm just not that person to be out there. But I just want people to know that, that hey man, you know what I'm saying. He did what he said he gonna do. A lot of people like my brother say, hey man, you said you gonna do something and you did it. Yeah. You know, so that's what people always tell my buddies tell me all the time. I say, boy, I mean, you're the pain in the back of you. See, you're going to get a shot. We ain't believe you, though. We say, God damn, boy. You <laughs> said you did everything you said you going to do. And a lot of my partners say, man, I'm proud of what you done did because we thought you was lying. We thought you was bullshit. But damn, you put your, when you put your mind to something, you're going to do it. And you know what I'm saying? I, you know, so I got buddies say, man, you done did. You did what you say you're going to do. I'm going to try to be a man of my word. I'm do what I'm saying I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? It might take me a little line on time, but you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it done for you. And not to mention, it was a real flex because you just told me something that I did not know. When you was like, you was blessed to be able to buy your shop. You know how many people ain't, don't own their shop yet and they done been there however long? Yeah. So that's super dope in and of itself. You yeah, already a one, one, you already miles ahead of a, you know, a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, and then I got, I got, you know, I was blessed, you know, what I'm saying, to I got a, I got a, uh, a strip mall too, you know, what I'm saying, why, you know, I got, I got some spots available. If I want to rent, if I want to do some hair, some, uh, some nails, uh, uh, want to start their own business, you know, I got, I got suites available, you know, what I'm saying, I try to look for stuff, man, for my kids to, the. I'm gonna I'm gonna show your daddy know how to work, but you are gonna work, work, you know what I'm saying? Because everything ain't given to you, you got to earn it. So you got to learn the value of a dollar. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna help when I can help, but at the same time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal in you that hey man, you got to work. You, you get a work habit, then you know what I'm saying? That ain't work this hard for nothing. You know what I'm saying? So you can fuck the money up you know, or do this, but I'm gonna I want to be able to have residual income. I want my my kids to say okay. I can work, but then I got this money. I got something coming in, so I'm going to leave you something that's going to always benefit you. You know what I'm saying? There ain't nothing about it, You know what I'm saying? Don't sell everything. But you got to look at it. Is I got money coming in. I got money coming in. I got money coming in. So you'll, you'll, you'll get it off my back, but you're going to learn how to work it because everything ain't free. 
You know what I'm saying? Well, that's, but that's your legacy too, though. Yeah. Your legacy is you did what you said you was going to do. You stood on you stood on your word yeah. and you left something for your kids. That's the yeah. thing, right? You can't leave. I mean, you can leave them kids them joys, but they can't wear them. You mm. can you can you can leave these kids these cars, but nine times out of ten, they are gonna sell them for little to nothing because they ain't into that shit anyway. Mm -hmm. But when you leave them properties and you leave them things that they can make money off of, that's that's dope. Yeah. So, I don't know no better way than to end it. What else? What else? Is there anything else that you want your fans, followers, supporters, hell, even your haters to know? What you what you want everybody to know? Oh, really? Oh, I'm just playing. <laughs> nah, I just want people to know, man. Hey, man, it's still always going to be 404 Home of the Witch Show, you know what I'm saying? You know, off the imitator, but never duplicated, you know what I'm saying? I got people, I, I, I'm going to leave this too. Uh, I had cars. Now, I paint candies and stuff, right? So, I used to have my cars posted in the back of my shop, you know what I'm saying, on that, on that hill, and that sun hit them. I had a couple, a couple of guys come through. They asked from Florida. They say, "Damn, man, you remind me of home." But I ain't think nobody been in Georgia painting no cans like that. They say, right. "I seen you from the street." He said, "God, dang, you remind me of home." And a lot of people see my work. They say, <laughs> "They say, you know, say you remind me of home, man." I ain't no niggas up here paint like this down <laughs> up here. I thought I gotta go back home. I say, "Man, you never got, you ain't gotta go back to the bottom when the bottom is already here." <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do triple, I do triple fades. I do he man fade. I can do the suit. Of, I do clean fades. You know, so I can fade mine where you, that color just melt down and you just start seeing colors like the rainbow coming out. You know what I'm saying? You know, I ain't too much home, but that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like I, skittles, I, I like taste the rainbow, like yeah. skittles. <laughs> uh, skittles, yeah. I got a skittle pack coming. You know, they old cars, but they 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 done sold them car for good money. You know what I'm saying? I got a skittle pack coming. You know what I'm saying? I like candles though. Everybody like, man, I'm never shot from Kansas. I do other colors too. I do base coat, clear coats. I do everything else. So you, you do any, anything paint related? You got it. I got it. <laughs> well, Stretch, I appreciate you. I know you busy. You still at work. So I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule because I know you got cars to paint. Everybody trying to get ready for the classic. They don't wait until the last minute. <laughs> you get it right. For that classic. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for sitting down uh talking to us and answering our questions i really appreciate your time i appreciate you man i appreciate you i appreciate y'all go support the uh the, the crab uh what is it, crab, uh, the, uh, the, crab, the, the crab trap house you know what i'm saying support those who support you you know what i'm saying support it go buy y'all some g by the parts too you know what i'm saying thank you, know you thank saying? you buy some parts you know what i'm saying you know so support them races and events man you know what i'm saying you support people, man. You know, it don't hurt the support. You know what I'm saying? It don't hurt for the plug. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate you. I appreciate you. know what I'm saying? I appreciate your platform. Thank and you. Having, and so having, your, having me on here, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know, Paint Wars coming 2024, though. You know what I'm saying? Bring the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know what I'm saying? Be on the show. Be ready for the show. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go down. You know, some have some more performers coming out. We're going to make a good family event. We're trying to make it bigger. You know, we're going to make it bigger. You know, it's always going to grow. You know what I'm saying? So don't be afraid to bring it out. You know what I'm saying? Anything on camera, you know what I'm saying? Bring it in person. You know what I'm saying? Let people see what you really got going on and go get you that money on. I appreciate it. So thank you so much, Stretch, for, for sitting down with us. I appreciate your time. No problem. All right. Have a great night. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Guys, so thank, thank y'all for tuning in to today's episode of Rising Vibes. If you missed any of today's episode, you can click the link in my bio and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you missed any of today's episode, you can catch up on the full episode. If you missed any of the past episodes, you can catch up on any of those episodes. And I will see you guys next Tuesday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another episode of Rise and Vibes. Have a good night.